WDBM, your local news leader at noon. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Michelle Hurst here with meteorologist Damon Matson. And as you might guess, our top story, we're following that severe weather from last night. Now, Damon, I know at my house we had downpours, but are we looking at, you know, more severe weather today? It does look like we are going to have more today. Yes, yesterday we had that one severe storm that did roll through part of the area. And then, of course, we had pretty much rain otherwise. But today it looks like the storm's going to be more numerous as well. All right, so we have some video that we want to show everybody. This is Ranson, West Virginia. And what you're looking at is the aftermath of the storm that rolled through that area. And we're not calling it a tornado, but we, it could be. And Damon, I'll let you explain that a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And of course, you can see the damage to some of these buildings here. No doubt we had a very strong thunderstorm roll through Ranson yesterday. It did have the look of a tornado going on. But again, that's radar data. That's not exactly what's going on on the ground. So obviously the storm definitely did cause damage. But the National Weather Service has been out surveying that damage today to look for the signs needed, I guess, from the damage to figure out whether or not that was a tornado. That sounds like something that would be really kind of difficult to do. Do you know exactly what they look for when they go out there? Yeah, so a lot of times what they're looking for is uh, where if there's debris scattered about the area and how that debris is scattered about the area. If you see uh, different there on the screen, exactly. See, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's in the ground and the grass all over the place there. But yeah, if that debris is sort of in a, a straight line fashion. If buildings are knocked over all in one direction, trees in all in one direction, that's usually a sign that there are straight line winds. Now, if you get things twisted about uh, different posts and no things like that, intended, right? <laughs> yes, then then that would be more of a tornado. If you have debris and uh, different things speared into the side of houses, yeah, that's the sign of a strong tornado. That could have rolled through as well. All right, so this footage is actually from a home in Charlestown, West Virginia, of course, right there next to Ranson in Jefferson County. It's near Shenandoah Junction, literally in the right in between Charlestown and Ranson. And so I guess I know that um, your weather, you and uh, meteorologist Derek Bowen had spoken with the National Weather Service earlier this morning. So they're headed out this afternoon, right? But we won't necessarily have an answer. Right, right, away. right. Yeah, they actually have been out there since this morning, very early oh, this okay. morning, looking okay. at all the different damage uh, that went on in West Virginia. And they actually had to head back to the office. They got their initial reports in, but it's going to be another active day today. So typically they would have an answer by the end of today on a normal quiet day. Oh, but because okay. there's more activity gotcha. going on today, it's likely they won't have an answer as to whether or not this was a tornado until probably later on tomorrow. So, so those two videos that we were looking at, of course, were, for, were from Jefferson County, West Virginia, but um, that wasn't the only area that was severely impacted, right? No, exactly. Frederick was also uh, north of Frederick was hit as well in, in Frederick Maryland? County Frederick, in Maryland. Maryland right? Yes, okay. yes. As that storm headed off to the east. So a couple of different areas they had to look at. And now today again, our focus is still the fact that we have more severe weather likely on the way here today. This is looking back to the west from Hagerstown and you can see the clouds are already building and yes, those storms from yesterday. We still got to go over those reports, but we got more activity already building off to the west of the four state region here this afternoon. So those clouds are starting to return across the area, but we have a lot of fuel for any storms that are firing up now as temperatures have climbed into the upper 70s and lower 80s. It's already warmer than yesterday because of that sunshine we had out there through the morning hours and you get that energy built up in the atmosphere. That is the fuel needed for storms to really get going as we roll along here. And we had a little bit of a delay in the radar data here, but again, we have those storms firing up back across West Virginia. And again, we already have one severe thunderstorm warning just to the west of Garrett County. So there it is over near Morgantown and this cluster of thunderstorms has already fired up just off to our west. Still nothing over the four state region just yet. We'll have likely a couple more hours to go before these storms start to drift east. And then we also see more storms developing right overhead and again there's that cluster of thunderstorms over northern West Virginia and there is even more activity as you drop down to the south and west so all of this is headed in our direction here and that is going to lead to an active afternoon for most of the areas. The SBC outlook, we are under a marginal risk. That's a one out of five on the severe scale, five being highest. So technically we're still in the low end of the risk category, but 
We saw yesterday it only takes one storm, so with the possibility of a few severe storms out there, we certainly have to keep an eye to the sky as the rest of the day progresses along. So it is going to be stormy here with a few of those being severe this afternoon. Gusty winds, small hail going to be the main threats we're going to keep an eye out for, but localized flooding a spin up or two like we saw yesterday could occur and we're going to have to watch out for that here. Stay weather aware and we'll have more rain tomorrow morning before things start to cool down then as we head toward the end of the week. So let's go ahead and check it out here on future tracker. There's those storms firing up again. They are going to be in a very scattered fashion, so these storms are going to impact localized areas and it looks like there's going to be a little more activity to the south across northern Virginia, southern Maryland, but everyone has a fair shot at running into these storms as we go through the early overnight hours. All of that activity should be wrapping up by 10 o'clock, but then we are going to carry the chance for showers and storms into the first half of the day tomorrow until that cold front crosses the area and then we will be in the clear once we head Wednesday night going into Thursday. So to keep up with these severe thunderstorm warnings as they roll in by the minute, download the free WDVM 25 weather app that will give you a very good idea as to where that severe weather is and if it will impact your neck of the woods. So still stormy and rainy through tomorrow. We'll have the sunshine back Thursday, but cooling down into Friday and the weekend starts nice, but more showers and storms return by Sunday.